Hello, I'm Chris. And I'm Lisa. Welcome to C3 Kids Church Online. We are coming to you from Community Christian Church in White Marsh, Maryland, where we are all about helping people find their way back to God. C3 Kids Online is the place for kindergartners through third graders to learn all about Jesus and how much he loves us. We are so glad you are watching today, and we are going to start off right now with a game. Today's game is called, What's That Animal? We're going to show you a picture of an animal, and you have to guess what it is. But it's going to be a little tricky, because at first it's going to be zoomed in really close. Then we'll zoom out a little more, and then we will reveal it. It's going to be so much fun. Let's see our first picture. Do you guys know what it is? Shout out your guesses. Let's zoom out a little bit now. Did that help? Do you know now? Okay, time to reveal it. It's a sea turtle. So cool. Okay, time for our second picture. Let's put it up. What could it be? If you think you know, yell it out. Okay, let's zoom out just a touch. Now do you see it? I think I might have a guess. All right, let's see what it really is. It's a tiger. Okay, let's do another one. Oh man, what could that be? Don't forget to shout out your guesses. Let's take it back a little bit. Now can you tell? I'm still not sure. Okay, time to find out what it is. It's a porcupine. Oh, that was tricky. All right, now it's time for our final picture. Let's put it up now. What could this be? Let me know what you think it is. Uh, it could be. Why don't we get some more information and zoom out a bit? Okay, maybe you know what it is now? Keep shouting out your guesses. Ready to see if you're right? Let's find out. It's a kitten. How many did you get right? It was pretty tricky. Now it's time for all of you to stand up because next up is worship. This week we're singing Every Beat, which is one of my favorites. Me too. And the moves go like this. My heart beats only for your glory. My hands reach up for you to hold me. My soul sings, Father, you are holy. My feet dance to the rhythm, to your rhythm. Every beat is calling. Every beat is calling out your name. Now let's go sing every beat.
Now, all summer, we're finding out what it means to have true confidence. And we're defining confidence as learning to see yourself the way God sees you. When you know how much God loves you, you feel like you can take on any challenge life throws your way. You can press play and live with confidence every day. Sometimes I feel really confident when I think ahead and make a plan. Like when I remember to get my mom a birthday present weeks before her birthday. Or when I don't wait till the last minute to study for a test. But in today's Bible story, we'll learn that sometimes things don't go our way. Because God has a bigger and better plan for us than we could ever figure out on our own. Let's check it out right now. Roll it! The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Joshua, chapters 5 and 6. For 40 years, God's people wandered the desert. At last, they reached the land that God had promised them. Joshua led them to the edge of the rushing Jordan River. The priests will carry the Ark of the Lord. The ark was a beautiful chest that reminded the Israelites that God was with them. As soon as the priests step into the Jordan, it will stop flowing. Sure enough, as soon as the foot of the first priest touched the edge of the river, the waters parted. God's people crossed on dry land, just as God had led them through the Red Sea 40 years before. God did this so that all the nations on earth would know that He is powerful. Soon after, the Amorites and Canaanites living in the land had heard what God had done. Fearful, they retreated back to their towns, including the high-walled city of Jericho. Oh, great. Like, how do we fight them now? God will show us the way. That evening, Joshua left camp and snuck toward Jericho. The walls loomed impossibly strong. So tall. As he turned, Joshua saw a man standing nearby holding a sword. Who are you? Uh, are you on our side or the side of our enemies? I have come as the commander of the Lord's army. Joshua knelt down face to the ground. What message does my Lord have for me? Take off your sandals. The place you are on is holy ground. Joshua tugged off his shoes. I have handed Jericho over to you. Joshua listened carefully as the Lord delivered a message, a battle plan unlike any other. Wow, uh, okay, uh, we'll do it, Lord. Joshua called for the priests. Get the Ark of the Covenant, and I need seven of you to march in front of the Ark with trumpets. Sorry, just warming up. <laughs> Joshua gathered the army too. Time to move out. <laughs> like, do we get to attack now? March around the city. Just, like, go in circles? Some of you march ahead of the Ark of the Lord, and the rest of you march behind. Can we at least shout and stuff? Hey, Jericho, you guys smell like cheese! Don't give a war cry or raise your voices until the day I tell you to shout. But the priests must blow their trumpets. Forward! March! The entire army, including the priests, marched one time around Jericho, just as the Lord had instructed Joshua. Now can we get them? Back to camp, men. We march again tomorrow. The next morning, the Israelites marched around the city once again. And then on day three, once again on day four, not to mention day five, and once again on day six. We march again at sunrise. Uh, I have blisters. At dawn on the seventh day, the army and priests formed their strange parade once more. But this time, once they finished marching around the city one time, Joshua called out. Keep marching. Again? My feet are killing me. The Lord has told me we must march around the city seven times today. On the seventh time around, the priests blew a long blast on their trumpets. Now shout! The Lord has given you the city! Oh, the oh, yeah, you're smelling cheese! 
As the shouts of the Israelites rang out in the clear morning air, something incredible happened. The massive walls of Jericho began to tremble. The gates shivered and quaked. Jagged cracks ran through the heavy stones. Rocks began to tumble from the tops of the walls. Little rocks, large stones, giant boulders, until at last the walls collapsed, crashing in on themselves. The ground quaked and plumes of dust burst into the air. As the air cleared, the Israelites stared in amazement. The city of Jericho stood wide open. Take the city! With nothing standing in their way, the Israelites charged right in. That day, they completely defeated the city of Jericho. God was with Joshua, and he became well known everywhere in the land. God was with Joshua and the Israelites. He had given Joshua a good plan, and Joshua trusted God enough to do exactly what he said to do. I mean, think about it. Joshua could have decided that God's plan didn't make any sense. He could have decided to ignore God's plan and make his own, but he didn't. He followed God's plan because he knew that God's plan is the best plan. And that's this week's bottom line. Can you say it with me? God's plan is the best plan. It really is. And we can trust God no matter what. Joshua certainly believed that. He followed God's plan and believed that God's way was the best. That's why he had the confidence to lead God's people to victory. We can't always see how things will work out in God's plan. Think about what it was like for Jesus' friends, the disciples, when Jesus died on the cross. They must have been so sad. They must have felt like it was all over. But everything made sense later when they saw and heard that Jesus had come back to life. Yep. Even though sometimes we can't see how things will turn out, it's important that we choose to keep following God and keep living His way. We can always have confidence in Him. We're going to keep learning more about confidence all summer. Now, don't forget to check on our Instagram and Facebook to see the winners from last week's P3 Day Steam Contest. You guys made some awesome helicopters. It was so great seeing all of your creativity shine through. Well, again, we're so glad you guys were here with us today. And we'll see you back here for C3 Kids Online Church next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.